Hello overclockers, my name's Bryony and in this video we're going to move away from the wonderful world of PC hardware and show you how you can upgrade your PS5 to make the most of all those wonderful exclusives. So let's get into it. So this is actually one of my colleagues PlayStation 5s and Glenn managed to get his hands on it back in January. Since then, the measly inbuilt storage has got very, very full. And to be honest, it's easy to see why, because you have just 825 gigs of internal storage, with only 646 gigs actually free for your games, apps like Netflix and YouTube, save game data, screenshots, etc. This means that despite the excellent compression technology, you can only install around six to 10 big titles, which to be honest, isn't great. Especially if you love replaying PlayStation 4 games just like Glenn, who's been enjoying the faster loading times on games like Ghost of Tsushima and Days Gone. Typically, PlayStation 4 games are also much larger and they're going to take up even more room on your storage drive. If you own a PlayStation 5, you've probably found yourself trying to juggle games around and it's clear that this console needs more storage so you don't have to keep uninstalling and downloading games. To help Glenn out, we're going to upgrade his PlayStation 5 for him and take you guys along for the ride to show you how. For this video, we're going to be using the WD Black SN850. This is a super fast, high performance drive that meets the recommended requirements for use with the PlayStation 5. It's a Gen 4 M.2 drive with a read speed of 7,000 megabytes a second. It also comes with a high quality heatsink to keep things cool, and the model we're using for this video is the one terabyte option. However, if you have some cash to splash, the PlayStation 5 will support up to four terabytes. So the benefit of using an M.2 SSD instead of a USB extended storage is that PS5 games are going to be playable, downloadable and updatable and it's going to work just like the existing internal drive. If you install it correctly by following our guide, this upgrade doesn't affect your warranty at all and it's super easy to do, all you need is a screwdriver. The first step is to turn off your PlayStation console, then remove both the cables from the rear and let it cool down. The next step is to place your console on a flat surface and then position it so that the PlayStation logo is facing down and the power button and the disk drive is facing away from you. Use your left hand to grip the edge of the top left corner and then use your right hand to grip the edge of the bottom right corner. Then gently lift the cover up and slide it off at the same time. As you have the cover off, this is also a good time to clean any dust off of the fan. Next, you wanna locate the expansion slot. There is a long rectangular cover that's gray in coloration secured with one screw at the top. Remove the screw from the expansion slot cover and then remove the cover. Inside, you'll see a small black screw. You wanna remove the screw and then move the spacer to the groove that corresponds to the size of your M.2 SSD. Our SN850 is an 80 millimeter drive, so I simply picked up the spacer and put it down into the right slot. Carefully remove your SSD from the packaging. Hold the edge of your M.2 SSD and then align it carefully with the notch on the expansion connector. You'll see that it has a short side on a long side. Then, starting from a diagonally upward position, firmly insert it all the way in. You wanna make sure that it is definitely in place and then lie it down resting flush onto the spacer. Now your M.2 SSD is in place, don't forget to fasten it to the spacer with the small black screw we removed earlier. We're nearing the end now, so reattach the expansion slot cover by sliding it in from the top edge and then reinsert the screw. Finally, replace the PlayStation 5 console cover, then connect up the power cord, cables, and turn it all back on. 
When your console turns back on, the formatting guide will magically appear and all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions and this will go ahead and format your new storage. Once this is done, your additional M.2 SSD can now be used to download, copy and launch all of your different games as well as media apps. It will work just like the inbuilt storage. Now that was super easy and Glenn can really make the most of his PlayStation 5 and there's now plenty of space to download upcoming games like Horizon Forbidden West. If you want to get your hands on the fantastic WD Black SN850, you can order it now at Overclockers UK for $209.99. There's also the 2TB option for $419.99. Alternatively, if you're confident enough to install the heatsink yourself, Overclockers sell a bundle with the SN850 where you can pick your own heatsink and save yourself a bit of cash at only $159.98. All these prices are correct at the time of filming, but make sure to click the link below to check the current availability and costs. I hope that you enjoyed our video where we upgraded Glenn's PlayStation 5. I'm sure he's gonna have plenty of fun playing all those latest exclusive titles. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to leave us a comment below, hit the subscribe button, and also press the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos. And I'll see you again in the next one.